Hello, my name is Simrat Alec, and I'm a PharmD candidate of the class of 2022. Today, I will be going over the medication Patavastatin, also known as Livalo. I will give a basic overview of the medication. It is used to help reduce cholesterol and LDL. It also can be used to lower the risk of heart disease and stroke. The directions are take one tablet by mouth every day with or without food. Some common side effects seen with patavastatin include constipation, diarrhea, muscle and back pain. Some serious side effects include increase in hemoglobin A1c and serum glucose, an increase in liver enzymes, an increase in creatinine kinase, liver failure, autoimmune necrotizing myopathy, and rhabdomyolysis. Patavastatin falls in the drug class called statins. It has an indication for primary heterozygous familial hypercholesteremia and adjunctive therapy for mixed hyperlipidemia and primary hyperlipidemia. It also can be used as a moderate intensity statin for primary and secondary prevention of arterial sclerosis. The pros associated with patavastatin include the fact that it is a moderate intensity statin, which means it lowers the LDL levels by 30 to 49 percent. It also helps reduce the ASCVD risk. The cons associated with patavastatin include the unfavorable side effects, which include an increase in hemoglobin A1c and fasting serum glucose. It also can increase AST ALT levels and it also is associated with serious side effects, including autoimmune necrotizing myopathy and rhabdomyolysis. It also is only available as a brand, thus it is associated with higher cost. Patavastatin's mechanism of action is that it is a HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor which prevents the formation of mavalonic acid, the precursor to cholesterol. This inhibition results in an increase of LDL receptors on the hepatocyte membrane and stimulation of LDL breakdown. Livalo comes in the oral tablet formulation. Doses include 1 mg, 2 mg, and 4 mg. Dose recommendations as adjunct therapy for mixed hyperlipidemia include 2 mg as an initial dose with a range from 1 mg to 4 mg a day. Adjunct therapy for primary hyperlipidemia include initial dose of 2 mg with a range from 1 to 4 mg a day. Dose recommendations for primary and secondary prevention of arteriosclerosis include a range from 1 to 2 mg a day. Dose adjustment should be made with patients on certain medications and patients who have liver or renal dysfunction. Livalo is contraindicated in patients with active liver disease. In patients who have a GFR ranging from 30 to 59 mils per minute can take 1 mg a day as an initial dose with a max dose of 2 mg. Patients who have a GFR from 15 to 29 mils per minute and are not receiving hemodialysis can take 1 mg a day as an initial dose with a max dose of two milligrams. If patients are taking erythromycin with Livalo, the max dose of the Livalo is one milligram a day. If the patient is taking rifampin 
with live aloe, the max dose of live aloe is 2 mg a day. Contraindications associated with patavastatin include patients with active liver disease, patients who are breastfeeding, patients who are using cyclosporine, patients with a hypersensitivity to this medication, and patients with unexplained persistent increase of serum tra transaminase. Precautions should be taken in patients who have diabetes, patients with hepatic injury, and elderly patients. Monitoring parameters include LDL, total cholesterol, and triglycerides. Lipid levels should be checked four weeks after initiation of the medication or when there is a dose adjustment made. Liver enzymes should be checked before initiating therapy and as needed based off of signs and symptoms. It is also important to monitor for any signs and symptoms of immune-mediated necrotizing myopathy. Here are the references used in this presentation. Thank you for watching and have a great day.